There we go, Los Palominos! <laughs> I don't even know why I drive singing like Los Palominos. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna... Let me fix this up here a little bit. There we go. Anyways, good morning, Tuesday morning, Double R Radio, 752, part of the mañana. Right now in San Antonio, we're at 78 degrees. It's going to be another hot, 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 hot day, no doubt about it. Anyways, it's the, um, man, these weekends fly by. They really do, don't they? These weekends, man, they're really, really flying by. Anyways, good morning, shout out to Alfredo Vallejo Sustaina. Hopefully I got that right, brother. Anyway, if I said it wrong, I apologize. Alfredo uh, Vallejo Sustaina. Hopefully I got that right. Anyway, good morning, brother. How we doing? Anyway, Tuesday morning. Uh, what a weekend, man. I had one uh, one for the record book, should I say, on my weekends. Anyway, just uh, this past weekend, um, I had a little situation in my Uber, doing my Uber thing. It wasn't really a situation. Just, you know, I think I get so... Um, I think I get so used to picking up people that everybody's pretty cool. They really are. Everybody does their thing, whatever the case may be. But every once in a while, you'll get a rude, loud mouth or something like that. And lo and behold, it happened to me. I think it was either Friday, Friday morning after I did the morning show, Saturday, right around, I don't remember, right around the summer. But anyways, I got an alert. Got to go pick up this person. It was a female. I got to the address where I was supposed to get to. And I'm waiting for her to come out, and she calls me, and she tells me, uh, Mr. Uber driver, I'm not where you're at. I'm over here two blocks, you know, like two blocks over. And I go, that's okay. Just tell me where you're at, and I'll go pick you up. And she tells me, uh, well, you should have it right there. You know, she starts giving me an attitude on the phone right now. I tell her, what I have right here is the address you put down. And she goes, I didn't put that down. She goes, you need to come over here right now. I'm running late for work. You need to come over here right now. Hurry the F up. And I said to myself, you know, I try to be a patient person. <laughs> I really do. But don't push my button. So I pushed my phone's button, which was cancel. And I canceled her, and that's that. Se fregó. And they, <laughs> I'm not going to put up with stuff like that, man. I really ain't. And then Sunday, con más ganas, it got a little bit kind of even worse, man. Sunday, all true, no lie. It was my last trip. I didn't know it at the time, but it ended up being my last trip. It was around 1 o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon. I went and picked up this guy way out there in the military drive by Brook, uh, by Brooks Air Force Base, military in 37. All true. I went to go pick him up, right? He gets in my car. And not even five seconds after he's sitting in my car in the back seat, man, the aroma of marijuana, no lie, man, the aroma of marijuana filled my car. And I was like, oh, my God, man. And mind you, I'm way deep in the south side, and I'm taking this guy downtown, right there on St. Mary's in Nevada, and I'm going like, I'm going to be 20 minutes with this guy in the car smelling like marijuana. Well, anyways, I said, well, what are you going to do? So I'm just kind of like, oh. And the guy's talking like he's, he, like if he's on cloud nine. You know, he's, I don't know, man. He's talking about the moon and the stars. <laughs> I'm going like, this guy's really tripping, you know. So finally, when I finally get him to his destination, he gets off. I go like two blocks up the road to a hotel parking lot, right? I pull in there, and I open my windows, and I break out the can of lights on, and I spray the hell out of my car. But you can still smell it. So I had to drive around downtown for about 15 minutes with my windows down to air out the aroma of marijuana. No lie, man. So finally I said, enough is enough, man, because it got really, really hot out there. So I caught 37, you know, got to go towards the airport to get, you know, come on back home. So I said, I better keep the windows open just to make sure this stuff airs out. Really? I mean, I didn't. I, I said, I'm not going to pick up nobody else because I don't want nobody thinking, coming to my car, thinking that I've been smoking weed, which, of course, I don't. And so maybe one, I, I smoke weed like once every 10 years, and that's in the privacy of my home. So anyways, I drove home with my car windows down. I was like, man, so I turned the corner here where I live at, and lo, lo and behold, uh, a couple of my neighbors are outside. They're going, Robert, why, are you, why do you have your windows down? Did your air condition break? I said, no, I broke in my house, not in my car, only at... Some dude was smoking weed, and there you have it. So yesterday when I got started, I got in my car and I said, man, I hope it doesn't smell like that no more. And it didn't, praise the Lord. Good morning, child. I got up to Benny, Ramirez. Good morning, Cecilia Leal. 
Hernandez, good morning. Mini Flores, good morning. Maravillas, very own Joe Gutierrez, good morning, Joe. How are we doing? Mini Flores, buenos dias. Patty Zep goes first, go. Good morning. And there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let me get back on the other side here. Alicia Gonzalez, good morning. Oh, man, Alicia, my ex-wife is watching right now. Uh, uh, you know, I don't want to say what I'm, I'm not going to say what I'm going to say, Alicia, because I promised my kids I wouldn't be crazy or silly with you, so I won't get crazy, I won't get silly with you. I promised our kids I wouldn't say anything bad, so I'm going to be nice. There you go. <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing. All I'm going to say is, good morning, Alicia. That's all I'm going to say. Good morning, John. I'm going to say Rose Medina. Good morning, good morning. And out of the Let's see what's going on out here in our crazy, crazy world. What the hell is this crap? There we go again. There we go. Check this out. A woman, a Florida woman, has completed, um, what do you, what do you call this? A completed, some kind of a voyage, kind of a thing, where she got on a paddle. Check this out. A paddle board from Cuba to Florida. Huh. I mean, where do you come up with an idea of saying, I'm bored today. What do I want to do? I know. I want to get on a paddle boat and go from Cuba to Florida. Huh. Okay. More power to you. Good morning, John. I'm going to say Elizabeth Ebra. Good morning, Thomas Vasquez. Buenos dias, buenos dias. There we go. Don't want to miss anybody. Now, check this out. Another crazy story. Um, you know, I've always wanted to do something like this, and they're going to be happening. It's going to be happening only not here. There's going to be a VHS swap meet. Now, just in case you don't know what a VHS is, those are the VCR tapes. Those big movies. You remember the big movies? VHS? Well, they're going to be having a big swap meet where you can swap, you know, one VHS to another. Now, my deal is this. Do you have a VCR player? I have a VCR player. It still works. I just don't use it. I'll never forget. All true. The very first VHS movie I ever bought, this is all true, the very first VHS movie I ever bought was Saturday Night Fever. I couldn't believe it. I said, I can't believe I own this movie. Man, Saturday Night Fever. Heck, man, I still got my leisure suit, my platforms, and everything else in the closet. It doesn't fit me no more, but I still got them. Good morning, shout out to Rosemary Flores. Good morning. Thomas Vasquez. Good morning, amigo. How we doing? Cynthia Gonzalez, I mean, it's Houston, Texas. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, let's see here, what else? Now, let's get to this one. Check this out. <laughs> I've talked about this before, man. <laughs> um, check this out. I'm not making this up either. I'm going to post this. Human poo-poo is mysteriously falling from the sky in Canada. <laughs> Can you imagine walking down the street, you know, maybe hand in hand with your loved one, or maybe you're going to a special event or whatever, you're walking, and human poo poo's falling from the sky? <laughs> patat, patat, go like, hey, man, hey, where's this coming from? <laughs> really, you know, that takes me back to when I was a kid, no lie, when I was a kid, I always wanted to know if you got on a plane. True. I always wanted to know if you would get on a plane, what would it be like in the restroom? I always thought that if you went to the restroom in a plane while it's flying, I always thought they just had a hole and you would go sit on the toilet and you wouldn't even have to flush the toilet. Whatever was coming out of you was coming straight down. I always thought that. Honestly, man, I always thought that airplanes just had a hole where you would sit down on there and, you know, whatever comes out and then you get up, you know, clean yourself and you're back to back in your seat. <laughs> really? So the very first time I boarded a plane, true, when I was going to Las Vegas, the first time I got on a plane, I had to go use the restroom. I wanted to see if they had a hole in the plane. But no, they had a regular toilet. I was kind of disappointed, I'm not going to lie to you. But how crazy is this, to have human poo-poo falling from the sky in Canada? They're trying to figure out where it's coming from. Well, it's not coming from San Antonio, that's for damn sure. Good morning, John Aguilar, Teresa Aguayo. Good morning, Ernest Gonzalez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Teresa Aguayo, buenos dias. John Dennison, good morning, good morning, good morning. Thomas Vasquez, buenos dias. Rosemary Flutters, buenos dias, buenos dias, buenos dias. Anyways, it is Tuesday morning. Um, let's see here. What do I want to do? I know what I want to do. Let's keep it going. Let's do something by Selena Yavis. Tuesday morning, buenos dias, Double R Radio. Now, really, man, no lie, man, back in the day, I was really, really nervous of getting on planes. I didn't care for planes whatsoever. 
And, but I got on the plane because I wanted to go to Las Vegas and I wasn't going to drive. So, man, really, I had to go check out the restroom right away. The plane hadn't even taken off. And I said, excuse me, ma'am, where are your restroom? She goes, can you wait till the plane takes off? I said, no, I can't. So she goes, it's right over there. So I go over there. I didn't even have to go to the restroom. I just wanted to make sure they just didn't have a hole in the plane where you put your butt on there and do, do you know, just take care of your business. And I was right. They didn't have a hole in the plane. They just had a toilet there. There you have it. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, RobertRebusRadio.com. Just click on the blue button and you're joining me live. Orale.